in the United States, we've come to believe in the chemical imbalance theory of mental disorders. So we believe that uh, you have some known deficiency with a neurotransmitter, and the drugs fix that, like insulin for diabetes. It was a valid hypothesis that arose out of understanding of how the drugs acted on the brain, and then it was investigated and found out basically not to be so. I believed it. When I was a reporter, I wrote about it. Our depression is due to low serotonin, schizophrenia is due to too much dopamine. And I called up uh, some top researchers and I said, I just want to see the research that says you found that people with schizophrenia had too much dopamine, or you found that people with depression had too little serotonin. And I'll never forget the answer. The answer was, well, we never found that. And I said, what do you mean you never found that? Oh, it's just a metaphor, but it's not really true. Well, no, not really. And I was stunned by that. I am very much against the casual and careless use of medication that uh, characterizes American society today. Th these medicines are very, very powerful in helping, but they can be very powerful in harming. Often the withdrawal problems will be worse than the original condition. I can look at any clinic I've worked at, and if they've been in the clinic for 15 or 20 years, they've been on every category of antipsychotic in the process. And the truth is, is that they still have the same symptoms, they still have the same side effects, they still are operating at the same level, you know. They, they may have been hospitalized five, six, ten times during that process. We've been primed to believe that uh, with medical research we can find the causes of things and that we can create these magic bullets that fix these problems. So it fit into that larger story of medical progress that we believe in. We've been embracing this paradigm of care now for almost 30 years, and we've seen the burden go up and up and up. And if you have an effective medical treatment for a disease, at the very least, that burden of disease should hopefully stay stable or even go down. And we're seeing exactly the opposite. I didn't know why I was here. I had no purpose. I didn't think I had any reason to breathe, and I didn't feel deserving of uh, love, of anything.